Hello and welcome back to the channel. For this episode, I thought we would take a look at sending reverb to the monitors. Whether you're using a Behringer X32, a Midas M32, an XR18, or an MR18, the process is essentially the same. We have a couple of options to consider, and that is shared or dedicated for our monitor effects. So we'll look at both in this video. In these examples, the XR18 scene is a typical monitors from front of house scene, and the X32 scene is a dedicated monitor console scene. I'll upload both of these scenes to the Patreon page for patrons to download. You can see on the X32 scene that I have selected only two reverbs and assigned them to buses 15 and 16. The rest of the effects rack slots are dedicated to graphic EQs. Since the X32 is set up as a dedicated monitor desk, the channel monitor sends are post EQ. My preference for monitors from front of house is pre EQ, so that is how the channel monitor sends are set on the XR18 in this example. We first need to make sure we have our effects set up properly. We need to make sure our effects sends are set to Unity. We also need to make sure that our effects returns are set to Unity. In the case of the dedicated monitor console, in this particular example, we're only using two reverbs, so only two effects sends and returns will be used. Let's talk about a shared setup first. In this example of shared, this means the reverb is shared between front of house and the other performers. Obviously, for the dedicated monitor console setup, there is no front of house sharing going on, but the effect could be shared by the performers. Okay, so let's start with a monitors from front of house scenario. We simply adjust our vocal reverb like normal to begin with. Go to the vocal channel and bring up the reverb send we want to apply to the vocal. In this example, it will be the plate reverb. Have the reverb singer test check. their microphone. One, two, three, four, five. Reverb check, check, check. One, two, three, four. Bring up the five. reverb to reverb. a level we like in the house. Reverb, thank you. Now, to apply this to the monitor, we need to select the effects return of the vocal reverb, which in this case is the plate reverb. Then choose the sends tab. Testing. We One, now select two, the monitor three. mix we want to send the reverb to. In this case, it'll be monitor Testing. mix one. one. And we two, simply bring three. up the reverb level until the bring performer tells the us reverb they like it. Via bus one. One, two, three. Reverb in mix one. Reverb one, two, three. Reverb in mix one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Good. I should mention. You set your vocal monitor first, like normal, and then add the reverb. Level, monitor one, mic one, monitor level, mic one, monitor level, mix one, mic check one. We now two, move on three. to monitor mix two. This does bring up a complication. Since the reverb is shared, when we next apply the same reverb to vocal channel number two, Monitor Mix 1 will hear that reverb bleed. It's the same reverb unit handling all of the vocal reverbs. So of course, bringing up a monitor synth on that reverb will send all of the signals in that reverb to the monitor mixes that you bring up. Exactly as there's just one output of reverb for everything that goes to that particular reverb that then goes to the house, there's also just that same one lone reverberated signal available to those monitor sends. While this reverb bleed might sound odd by itself, especially at line check, many times in performance it will be fine since each monitor mix will likely be getting a blend of vocals anyway. The other factor in a shared reverb when it's shared with front of house, is whether the vocalists are okay with your front of house reverb changes. 
Typically, you might be changing that reverb on a song-to-song -song basis, or at least on a tempo basis with different settings for ballads versus rockers. Those changes will be in the monitors as well. Your vocalist might just prefer one reverb setting for the entire show in their monitors. If either the reverb changes for front of house or the reverb bleed is a problem for the performers, then you'll need to go to a dedicated effects setup for monitors. From monitors from front of house, for any effect dedicated to monitors, unassign it from front of house. Select the dedicated monitor reverb return, tab over to main, and unselect the main stereo left right button. That way it will not be fed to our house mix. Next, on that same selected effects return, tab over to sends. Bring up the monitor send to Unity on any monitor mixes, that particular reverb will need to be sent. For a dedicated monitor reverb, you'll want to do that before you bring up the effects send on the individual channel or channels. Since the reverb isn't shared with front of house, you can bring up the effects send on the singer's channel until they indicate they hear what they like in their monitor. One, two, three, four, five, reverb. Reverb, thank you. You will still have reverb bleed if any of the other performers are sent that same reverb in their mixes. The only way to avoid that is to dedicate one reverb per musician per mix that wants reverb in their monitors. As you can see, with limited effects slots and a normal size band, Eventually, something will have to give. Someone will have to compromise. Fortunately, that reverb bleed isn't always an issue in use once the mix is dialed in and the band is performing. And if it is an issue, it will probably just be an issue for one performer, like the lead singer. That would mean just needing to have one dedicated reverb for the lead singer's monitor mix, and the other members could be on the other reverb shared with front of house. That is typically an acceptable compromise for the band's engineer and something that'll make everybody happy. If you're on an X32 or an M32, you can definitely use Sins on Faders for this. I'll leave a link above for a video explaining Sins on Faders. Effects in the monitors have become much more popular with in-ear monitors, so this is something more and more people will find themselves dealing with. In-ear monitors are much less forgiving of mistakes, Musicians can hear much better detail and isolation when they're using in-ear monitors. Here are some other monitor mixing videos on the channel. If you like information like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. There are affiliate links in the Patreon link in the text below that help to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.